Welcome to a new Team CGC 9.8 video. Today I have some ice cold 9.8 comics to buy for investment purposes. So uh, first one, it's an Avengers number 196 in a 9.8. Yeah, I've recommended this one quite a bit in the last six or so months. I think the timing's pretty good for this one. Uh, certainly leading up into that Black Widow movie and then it was delayed because of the virus and uh, this one stayed really pretty hot during that period. It was mostly like 1,700 up to 2,000 and even for a bit there in the direct editions that they went over 2,000. There were quite a few that had sold over 2,000 in the super high grade. So a recent sale on Comic Link. This one ended about three weeks ago I had saw for $1,100 in a 9.8 white pages. So cooling down, I just think this is one, if you like this one, it's, a, it's pretty much a great time to buy it for myself. You know, back in like 2018, 2019, I really wanted this one, but it just never happened. And then all the rumors started and it got really hot. So it wasn't like the best timing during that time. But we're on the other end of that. Much better pricing now. This one's a great collector item in the, the really high grade 9.8. There's 236 9.8s in a blue label. A one of 236 is great. 6.4% 6 the 9.8 ratio. So nice, like the single, single digit 9.8 ratio. The lower the better. Of all the graded copies sent to C CGC, uh, about 6% of them are 9.8s, which is awesome. So, yeah, I think this is one. It's cooling down. If you ever wanted this book like me, I know I'm really kind of thinking about it and uh, have my eye on eBay and Comic Link. Okay, you know, on eBay right now, there's like people trying to get 1,500, 1,600, but you know, you want to be patient on this one. Get it in an auction closer to 1,100, I think is a pretty great deal. An equivalent kind of DC book. You may want to consider uh, the Teen Titans number two, first appearance of Deathstroke, the Terminator, another George Perez book. Big first appearance on that one as well. And there were those uh, Deathstroke uh, like new comic books that had come out about three, four months ago. It kind of, this one kind of heated up, but I'm actually seeing some better prices. You know, nowadays, just like you know, three or four months later, I think uh, Teen Titans number two and a nine eight kind of in the you know nine hundred to a thousand range. It is a pretty great uh, kind of DC equivalent book. These are pretty comparable. And uh, yeah, that Teen Titans 2 during those new comic books, I, th I saw one sell for like 1,300 and was pretty surprised by that. But they're kind of cooling down on the back end of uh, those Deathstroke new comic books that had come out. Okay, I'm moving on though. It's uh, next one, A Tale of the Teen Titans number 44. The uh, first appearance of Nightwing or when Dick Grayson becomes Nightwing. So kind of the first appearance of the modern Nightwing as we all know him. And uh, this one, it kind of slowly and steadily has increased over time. Maybe just a bit of a cool down like most, you know, 9.8 key issues nowadays, cooling down in the last, uh, you know, six to 12 months or so. Um, recent prices on this one in a 9.8, 557 US dollars, 519 dollars and 99 cents. So uh, I think it, this one's just a pretty great value at that price and, and you know, one of those big kind of DC keys you want to consider in, in a 9.8. 1,065 9.8s in a blue label, 19.8% the 9.8 ratio, so decent on the census. And uh, yeah, this is one, you know, 2018, 2019, I remember them being, you know, 225 or so, 250 in that area. Maybe they were even a little bit less than that. So yeah, this one kind of slowly and steadily has been increasing over time and for good reason. Uh, so you want to consider a, a Tale of the Teen Titans, 44 in a 9.8. Okay, uh, next one, uh, New Mutants, 98 in a 9.8. One I do uh, luckily have. First appearance of a big hero, Deadpool, and uh, er an early 90s comic book. So, you know, maybe not the best collector item. If you're really serious about this one, you go after it in the newsstand edition. I got the direct edition, though. Newsstands get, they're pretty expensive nowadays. But uh, in a direct edition, for a New Mutants 98, cooling down, you know, it was probably about a year ago. Yeah, maybe last summer it was like, you know, uh, Deadpool 3 MCU's coming out and the prices that kind of shot up on this one to over 2,000. It only lasted about a month maybe off the back of those rumors, but a recent prices on a New Mutants 98 in a 98 white page is $1,701 and $1,600. And they've been about this price since that time, like since there were a little bit of rumors and I was interested in this one recently because just through social media and stuff, I'd saw some teasers that like Ryan Reynolds is working out for Deadpool 3 and stuff like that. 
So I thought, oh, look, I want to check in on New Means 98, but it's really kind of staying at the same price, even off of these, you know, little bit of whispers. Uh, so I just think uh, this is, it's been a steady price for quite a while. Big first appearance of a hero with some content coming out, with the movies coming out soon. Probably a decent time to get in there on a New Means 98. 1,600 uh, is kind of near the lower end of the range is probably you know, a price to aim for with there's, there's so many of them out there in the 98, early nineties book, as I said, 3,840, 9.8s in the blue label, 18.2% is the nine, eight ratio. So big hero first appearance. And, uh, certainly they'll probably be absolutely a pop in price after these Deadpool movies. And, um, you know, long term on a New Means 98 with it being an early 90s book, I, I sort of worry after, you know, maybe Ryan Reynolds stopped doing Deadpool movies or something like that, will the uh, popularity for a book like this, you know, uh, continue? With there being 3,840 of them out there, there's a lot of supply. So, um, again, maybe that new stand edition is a, a more rare version that you might want to consider. I think that one will hang in there over time and, and be really wanted by collectors. Uh, but uh, yeah, almost can't go wrong on a, a big first appearance in Deadpool. Okay, uh, next one. It's uh, Batman Harley Quinn will focus on the uh, origin and first full appearance of Harley Quinn in uh, DC continuity on this one. But to be honest, just knowing a little, noticing a little bit of weakness in all the Harley Quinn keys uh, and the Batman keys in general. We've talked about this on the channel recently. But even a Batman Adventures 12, seeing a better price on that one. But uh, Batman Harley Quinn in a 9.8 saw one sell for uh, $617.70. I'm pretty sure I saw one sell even a little bit under $600, which is a pretty considerable uh, pullback. Like leading into the Batman movie, kind of all Batman books were a little bit hotter during that time. The market overall, I think, was a little bit more, you know, hotter during that time as well. Uh, these were kind of 800 to 900, and I think one even kind of might have sold for a thousand there. But, uh, you know, uh, now starting to make a little more sense, I think around $617.70 one had sold for. I think that's a pretty decent buy. Uh, Batman Adventures 12 in a 90. Definitely the one to get if you're a big Harley Quinn fan. A little bit kind of too expensive for me. Uh, I've sort of went with this one in Mad Love. But a Batman Adventures 12 saw one sell in a 98, 2,605. And uh, usually they're, you know, they're kind of a little bit closer to 3,000. This one looked pretty good as well. It was on a comic link about three weeks ago or so. Uh, 2,605 for a Batman Adventures 12, um, if you're in the market for that one. But uh, Batman Harley Quinn, 1,208, 9.8s, 46% the 9.8 ratio. It is kind of one of those binded trade paperback kind of a comic so uh not too uh tough to get in a super high grade with the 46 percent uh 9.8 ratio but one to think about certainly if you're a harley quinn fan on a, a cool down in price recently and a uh, last one here that's been cooling down to recommend uh maybe spider-man 316 just one of the cool mcfarland venom covers to collect i think this one will be collected over time uh, for sure. It's done pretty well over time as well. Yeah, um, you know, I bought both of mine. They were in, I think one was like 275 or 260. They were both kind of in that range in uh, 2019. It would have been one in 2018, actually. Uh, so nowadays, one selling for $775. And um, this is one, yeah, during, you know, the COVID market, everything was a lot ho hotter. They got up there to like over 1,500 for a minute there, which uh, seemed a little bit expensive for me. So now it's cooling down, you know, super over time. It's going to be a really collectible cover by a McFarlane and Venom fan. So I think it's one you want to buy on the cool down. There's 1,466, 9.8s in a blue label, 19.6% the 9.8 ratio. So, you know, it's not the best on the census for kind of a late 80s McFarlane book. Like Hulk 340 looks a lot better. Batman 423, way better on the census, way less. But uh, this one's a lot more affordable than those ones. So uh, yeah, right around kind of 775. I believe I saw one dip under 700, kind of go in the kind of 650 range. So I think, you know, that if you, if you wanted to be kind of strategic on it, under 700. It's a pretty great price on a Spider-Man 316, especially if you're a Venom fan, McFarlane fan. I wanted to have a couple of them. I got a raw copy too, a really nice one. 
So I'm kind of set on my uh, Amazing Spider-Man 316s, but I am a big McFarlane and Venom fan, and these are great to have uh, from a pride of ownership perspective, for sure. Okay, uh, yeah, so today, you know, nothing fancy, just kind of some pretty big, solid keys. You know, I kind of wanted to have one or two in there that are somewhat affordable, but these are, are pretty serious ones that I think uh, you can consider for uh, investment purposes. All right, uh, th thanks so much for watching, though, team. Give us a like if you haven't uh, already, and uh, subscribe to the channel as well. Thanks for watching again. I'll see you on the next one.